The Republican congressman leading the witch hunt against President Biden and his family publicly admitted on the Fox Propaganda Network that the goal of his committee is to politically benefit Donald Trump in the 2024 election. Intrigued? Then click that like and subscribe and enjoy the video. So as we've discussed on this channel and as most people predicted in the aftermath of the 2022 midterms, the Republican majority in Congress, the House of Representatives in particular, are not really interested in governing or settling the issues that are most affecting their constituents, including the people who voted for them in particular. They're more interested in politically injuring President Biden, politically hamstringing the Biden administration, and doing what they can to facilitate Donald Trump's return to the White House in 2024. That is their goal. We talked about this before. Again, it is simply a fact. Of the two major parties, only one, for all its faults, the Democratic Party, has any interest in governing. Both parties should be about governing, but only one party is. And unfortunately, this party is very often graded on a curve. And because their hypocrisy is their superpower, their shamelessness is their superpower, sometimes they let things slip publicly um, that you would think that they would keep to themselves. They say the quiet part out loud. Here's an example. This is a clip on the Fox Propaganda Network. The guy on the right is Republican James Comer, who is the head of the House Oversight Committee, and he is leading one investigation after another into the so-called Biden crime family. And we've done videos about this where they've uncovered absolutely no evidence that President Biden was aware of a crime, let alone committed one. Um, but he gives the game away here when he's uh, asked by these uh, Fox hosts. And uh, let's hear what he has to say, and then we'll dive into it talk about this um, and we have talked to you about this on this show about how the media can just not ignore this any longer in an op-ed in the washington post it says millions flow to biden family members don't pretend it doesn't matter so do you think that because of your investigation that is what's moved this needle with the media absolutely absolutely there's no question you look at the polling and Right now, Donald Trump is seven points ahead of Joe Biden and trending upward. Joe Biden's trending downward. And I believe that the media is looking around, scratching their head, and they're realizing that the American people are keeping up with our investigation. And they realize something's wrong here. It Talk about that. So there, Representative Comer makes it abundantly clear that the goal is to politically hurt Biden. And he touts whatever vague poll, he doesn't actually cite what it is, but Apparently, some poll that he's seen, which has Donald Trump ahead of Joe Biden in a hypothetical 2024 race, seven points ahead. That's proof, in his mind, that the committee is doing its work properly, even though there is bipartisan consensus. As a matter of fact, James Comer himself was called out by uh, Steve Ducey, who is a Fox News host, one of the Fox and Friends hosts. He's been a, a Fox mainstay, publicly called Comer out just a few weeks ago. Hey, listen. You made this press conference where you have some some circumstantial evidence, some circumstantial evidence that certain members of the Biden family may have benefited from foreign deals. But you have no evidence whatsoever that, that number one, that there was a crime committed. And number two, that President Biden was aware of a crime being committed. And number three, the big one, that President Biden committed a crime. So even though they have no evidence towards their central thesis, the fact that there is political ramifications against President Biden is proof enough that the committee is doing its work as far as James Comer is concerned. That's disgusting, right? That's a weaponization of the political process that, again, you simply don't see on the Democratic side. So as long as these investigations continue, I think it's very important to remind everybody and for you all to remind everybody that you know, because I'm sure that you know... Um, moderates and centrists and conservatives who are persuaded of the idea that somehow President Biden is unethical or guilty of crimes, even though they can never point to you exactly what it is. It's important that you use your empathy, that you use your combination of words, your rhetoric, and information like this to point out, listen, this is a politically motivated situation. They're not even being, they're not even attempting to hide it. They are citing the results of a political poll that's bad for Biden as justification for their committee. You should also remind them, as I've reminded you again and again, that the Trump family, in terms of what we actually know, is infinitely more corrupt than the Biden family. And here's the critical difference. Ivanka and Jared Kushner, you know, Trump's daughter and her husband, his, his son-in-law, were actual members of the Trump administration. They were White House employees. They worked for the federal government. Hunter Biden never did. 
Hunter Biden is and has always ever been a civilian. And that doesn't make him above the law, but that means in terms of congressional scrutiny, we shouldn't be scrutinizing a civilian's misdeeds more than those who are in power. With great power comes great responsibility. That Again, that's the Spider-Man, Uncle Ben ethic approach. And when power scales, so too should responsibility. So the more power you have, the more responsibility you should have, the more scrutiny and oversight you should have. So Jared Kushner and Ivanka deserve 10,000 times the scrutiny of Hunter Biden. That is a fact. And if anyone challenges you on, on that, if anyone disagrees with you on that, they are defying a longstanding American ethic. Jared Kushner inked a $2 billion deal with the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia the day after he left the Trump White House, the day after. And Jared Kushner was President Trump's envoy, his special representative, to Saudi Arabia and the UAE. That is evidence, that is sign of an intense corruption. James Comer and the Republican Party have absolutely no interest in investigating it, even though they've been publicly challenged by many members of the media. Okay, you're looking into Hunter Biden, fine, whatever, fair enough, it's the third or fourth time, and if he's guilty of a crime, so be it. But what about the Trump family? What about Ivanka's trademarks deals with China? What about Jared Kushner's $2 billion deal with Saudi Arabia? What about all these dignitaries that paid tons of money to spend at Trump hotels while Donald Trump was president of the United States? What about all that? What about that litany of corruptions that actually involve government officials that we can prove? What about that? Well, I mean, I'm, well, I mean, that's, I'm not saying that's good, but that's just not our focus right now. That's the point. Their hypocrisy, their shamelessness, that's their superpower. But hopefully you can point out things like this, facts like these, to persuade others in your orbit to leave the Republican Party, to not reward the Republican Party for their bad faith, their bad behavior, their corruption, their lack of principles, because the Republican Party is, as a political institution, as a whole, including their leaders, objectively worse than the Democrats. On their very worst day, Democrats are better than this Republican Party on their very best day. And you need to remind people of that.